Well, hey, welcome to day seven of Holiday Hacks. And today is a fun day because I'm going to talk about quizzes. Quizzes are a great tool to use to build your email list and gain some insight and knowledge about your audience. And depending on how you set your quizzes up, you can sell them something on the back end. So if you've been wondering about quizzes and how to use them, then you want to show up for Holiday Hackathon Live, our implementation event on Saturday, October 19th. What is that about? Well, briefly, I have been giving you eight days of Holiday Hacks for your marketing success to help you maximize sales. And today is day seven, all about quizzes. On the previous days, on day six, we talked about creating bundles and packages. Day five was all about challenges and contests. Day four was about survival guides. Day three, we talked about using free trials and limited time offers. Day four was using templates and uh, swipe files and day, I'm sorry, I said day four. Day two was all about templates and stripe swipe files and day one was about vocal deals. Today is quizzes and then tomorrow is day eight of our holiday hacks. And then on Saturday, October 19th, we'll do the live implementation event. So I've been telling you what to do. And on Saturday, I'm going to tell you how to do it. So with that, let's get into these quizzes. Now, there are two different types of quizzes. You can do a quiz where you give somebody a score at the end, and then you can do a quiz where you give somebody some insight or something different at the end. I'll talk about both of those here in just a second. For those who don't know me, I am Cecilia Faye Morris, also known as the Digital Marketing Maven, and I teach business owners how to build their brand and their business online using automation, chat, GPT, and Facebook. And wherever you're watching me, give me some likes, give me some love, drop a comment, and if it's YouTube, subscribe and click that bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. All right, so let's talk about these quizzes. Now, I built my quizzes before pre-chat GPT. I was doing it to where, based upon their answers, it would take them down a certain path. I still do those, but then the other type of quizzes that I do is where I give people a score at the end. Now, the score ones are really good and really easy to do because every, every um, answer has to value and then they tally up the value at the end and it gives them their score. Now, of course, you're making up the score based upon the range of the values for the um, score that they get. But the thing about quizzes is it gives you valuable insight into your audience. And when people take your quiz, they're pretty much a captive audience. Now, your quiz should be more than about eight to 10 questions tops. I usually try to stay in the range of six to eight. Anything more of that is like a Myers-Briggs and people get bored and they don't finish it. But six to eight questions is a good window for your quiz to ask people questions about what it is that you want them to do. So the two quizzes that I've got going on right now I've got one quiz. Oh, I'm sorry, my allergies. I've got one quiz that is um, what kind of friend are you, right? So it takes you through a series of questions to determine what kind of friend you are. Are you the party girl, the party guy? Are you the stay-at-home guy? Are you the Netflix and chill person or whatever? So it's a whole series of questions. And then based upon the answers, you get different values. You're an introvert. You're an expert you're a homebody, you're a combination or whatever, whatever. So that's one quiz that I have going on. And then another quiz that I have going on is helping um, understanding people's sleep. Now, this quiz gives them a score. So there's eight questions, and each question has a value of one to five. So the maximum value somebody can get is 40, and the minimum value is eight. And I've got it set up to where if you are 0 to 19, you get this. If you're 19 to 29, you get that. If you're 30 to 40, you get this or whatever. But that's how I have it set up. So the one quiz is more intuitive where you give people insight to the personality. And the other one is a score base where you give them a number. And based on that number, then they get some insights from that. So the beauty of quizzes is, is that when people take your quiz, you can hold the answers hostage, <laughs> right? What do I mean by that? What I mean is if they want to get the answer to the quiz, then they got to give you their name and email to get those answers. And that's how you use the quiz to build your email list. The other beauty of that is based upon what you want to do in the quiz, 
you can lead them down a path to purchase a low ticket item from you to join your Facebook group, to get your course, whatever it is that you have. So for instance, on my what kind of friend of you quiz, when they take that quiz, that leads them to my mobile app where they can purchase my mobile app. And then on my sleep quiz, it leads them to one of two paths. Either one path, they can get my ebook, Break Free from Sleepless Nights, or the other path, they can get my course, which talks about all natural biohacking and nootropics. So that's kind of how I use quizzes to introduce people to me and bring them into my world. And then there's a third quiz that I have. It's a marketing quiz, which helps business owners assess the marketing, their marketing style or what marketing style works best for their business. Because, you know, a lot of times since I am the Facebook ads coach, people want to use Facebook ads, but their business might not be set up in a way that Facebook ads actually make sense. So if someone is on the on the cusp of wanting to use ads, then my quiz would help them determine if Facebook ads or any paid ads for that matter are a viable option for their business. So that's a marketing quiz that I have. So those are three examples of how I use quizzes in my business. Now for the marketing quiz, which is not live right now, for the marketing quiz, um, for that one, then it leads people, if they do, if their business is in a place where Facebook ads make sense, then it leads them to my video sales letter where they can watch like a 20, 25 minute video that shows people how I help them build a brand and their business using Facebook ads. And at the end of that video, they can schedule a consultation with me and then we have a talk and there we go. But those are um, three different types of quizzes. Again, the, the, um, things you can do with quizzes, I mean, the um, possibilities are limitless. It's all a matter of what do you want on the back end, right? Are you building your email list? Are you getting people to join your Facebook group? Are you selling a course? Are you giving away an ebook? Whatever it is that you have, what is it that you want your customers, your ideal customers, your target audience to get from the quiz? But you got to make the quiz insightful to them, right? So in my sleep quiz, I'm targeting women who are 40 plus and fabulous, who want to sleep better, have more energy, and be more present and productive in their everyday life. In my what kind of friend are you quiz, I'm targeting single people like me who are 40 plus and fabulous, still dipping and doing it, who live alone, but still want a network of people who they can, um, who will check in on. The app is called Check On Me. So they're a network of people, single people like myself, who are still active and living vibrant lives, but we're single and we live alone. And, you know, we don't want to be found dead six days after we pass away, right? We want somebody to check on us. Hence the name Check On Me. Um, still in development, we'll release Q1 of 2025. But what's leading to my quiz is what kind of friend are you? And then from the friend quiz, then I lead them to pre-order my mobile app. So that's an example, again, of where I'm building my email list of potential buyers for my mobile app while I'm in the process of developing my mobile app. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and so then the, uh, so the sleep quiz, the mobile app quiz, and then the marketing quiz, this, again, is going to be customers to me who are interested in using digital marketing strategies to promote the business, more specifically paid marketing strategies so they can stop sliding in the DMs or having these innocuous conversations with people just because they're trying to find an opening to have a conversation to introduce them about their business. Instead, let's use Facebook ads so we can target the right people. So those are three examples of how I use quizzes in my business. So how do you want to use quizzes in your business? What kind of quiz do you want to create? Do you want to create an intuitive quiz or do you want to create a store-based quiz? Either way is good. There's no right or wrong answer. But if you want to see me use ChatGPT to create a quiz, then you need to join our holiday hackathon. Again, I've been giving you eight days of hacks that you can use to build your business. I'm telling you what you can do, like what you can do as a quiz, right? Which is also today's keyword. Today's keyword is quiz. Sorry, again, my nose. If you are not familiar with what we've been doing these last seven days, so every day on the live, I'm not live, on the video, I give you a keyword. You need to email the keyword to me. Today's keyword is quiz, and you will get 10% off the price of admission for the Holiday Hackathon. The Holiday Hackathon is $97, but if you watch all eight days of my videos and you send me all the keywords via email, you will get an 80% discount on the live Holiday Hackathon implementation event. Today's keyword is quiz. So email me quiz. 
And as always, please don't post it in the comments. If you do, it'll get deleted and you'll be disqualified for getting the discount. If you haven't watched all my videos, go back and check them out. They're short, like this one, you know, six, eight minutes. Watch the videos, email me the keyword. And then on Friday the 18th, they're going to email you the link to join Holiday Hackathon Live for our implementation event where I'm going to show you how to do all the what to do's that I've been showing you over these last eight days. So tomorrow is day eight. So you'll get the last video and the last keyword tomorrow. Thursday, we're going to be tallying up who gets what discount. And then Friday, look in your email to get the link for your discount to join Holiday Hackathon Live, where I'm going to show you how to do all of the eight hacks that I've been sharing with you in all of these videos. So that is today's video. If quizzes will make the world go round in your business, if you want to build your email list and potentially sell something or get people to do something on the back end. And today's keyword is quiz. So thank you for watching. I am Cecilia Faye Morris, also known as the Digital Marketing Maven. And wherever you're watching me, give me some likes and love. Drop a comment. If it's YouTube, subscribe and click that bell so you can notify whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching once again. That's all for now. I'll see you tomorrow for day eight. And if you're coming to the party after the 19th, don't worry. You'll still be able to get some cool stuff that will help you maximize your holiday sales and take you into 2025 with the renewed energy and visions of success for your business. Bye for now.